If you have a Wi-Fi connection but it's not giving you a good internet speed, if your Wi-Fi connection is very slow, especially in your desktop or laptop, then this video is for you. We will be doing some very easy steps which you need to follow and your Wi-Fi speed will be definitely in a better state. So let's go ahead and do that. Please make sure you watch the whole video and we will be able to do it. We just need to do a right click in the start icon and then we need to click on run and here we need to type ncpa.cpl. Now once you have typed it, hit OK. Now a new window will appear like this, network connection, where you have Ethernet and Wi-Fi. If you're using Ethernet or Wi-Fi, doesn't matter because the settings will be remain same for all. So since I'm using Wi-Fi, so I'll select Wi-Fi and I'll just do a right click and I'll go to properties. We just need to click on this configure tab. And once you click on this configure tab, we need to go to advanced. And here we are looking for fat channel intolerant. So let me maximize it. We're looking for fat channel intolerant and we just need to enable it. So enabling this fat channel intolerant the communication of Wi-Fi will be better if we turn on this fat channel. And once this is done, we need to go to this roaming aggressiveness. Now in roaming aggressiveness, you might have this selected to medium, medium high or highest. So higher the value, slower the communication. If your Wi-Fi signal is absolutely fine, what I would recommend to make it to or make it one it's up to you whether you select medium low or low because lower the value higher the internet connection once you do that at the right hand side you will have the power management so if you see the power management you just need to click on that power management and you need to uncheck that allow power to turn off so there will be a check mark in the power management you just need to uncheck that and you just need to click on OK. So what? So once you do that, Wi-Fi will be reconnected. Once this is done, just do a right click again and then go to properties. And here we need to select internet protocol version four and then go to properties, enter the Google DNS 8888. Now the reason why we are giving a DNS, Google DNS, because when we visit any website, it resolves the query. So it will be faster if you give a specific DNS to your computer. So next time, whenever you will open your browser and type anything to the address bar, it will load the websites faster. So you can type the primary DNS 888 and here 884 and 4. Once you do that, hit OK and then close this window and restart the computer and see the difference what exactly how's the performance of your Wi-Fi how's the speed of your Wi-Fi now I hope this short tutorial has helped you please hit the like and subscribe I'll see you in the next video have a wonderful day